schizophrenia. What are the features of acute schizophrenia? And what are the features of chronic schizophrenia? The acute schizophrenia features or acute schizophrenia features are also known as the fast rank symptom of Snyder, the Snyder fast rank symptoms. And we all remember it by the A, B, C, D. What is A? A for auditory hallucination. The patient will hear that someone is talking to them. They will hear someone is talking to them, but there is an end. There is no one actually. That's their hallucination. And usually that hallucination is second person or third person hallucination. The third person hallucination is usually when two people are talking about you. That is a third person hallucination. The second person hallucination is when someone else is talking to you. That is second person hallucination. The third person hallucination that schizophrenia patients have is also known as the echo de la pensée. Next up is B, broadcasting. So what is broadcasting? So broadcasting of thought. Along with broadcasting, there can be insertion of thought or withdrawal of thought. Broadcasting of thought means that the patient believes that everyone understands or everyone is able to know what he is thinking. So his, his thoughts are being broadcasted and everyone knows that, that is broadcasting of thought. Next C, C is the controlled feeling. The patient feels that someone else is controlling them controlling their activities, controlling their feelings, controlling their impulses. Those are controlled phenomenon. And the last one is delusional perception. You are seeing something normal, but this normal thing is being perceived as something else. Like you are seeing a car who is approaching you and you have a perception that this car is going to kill you one month later. That is a delusional perception. So those are the features of acute schizophrenia, the ABCDs, auditory hallucination, broadcasting of thought or insertion withdrawal of thought, controlled phenomenon and delusional perception. What are the features of chronic schizophrenia? The features of chronic schizophrenia is also known as the negative symptoms of schizophrenia. And usually they imply that a person has decrease in almost all the cognitive and mental functions. So he has a very flattened or blunted if effect. His face is like his face has become like a person of Parkinson disease, muted, a masked face. So there is a blunted effect. His face is, doesn't have any emotions. And then this lack of emotion can be also called as an apathy. He does not feel anything. And there is loss of drive. He does not feel like doing anything. He doesn't want to do anything. There is no motivation, no drive. There is loss of drive. And this loss of drive is known as abolition. Uh, obviously, when you don't feel anything, you don't want to do anything, you don't feel like doing anything, you isolate yourself. You become withdrawn. You socially isolate yourself. And you don't talk to no one. You don't talk to anyone. That is a poverty of speech. You don't want to talk. That is poverty of speech. And this poverty of speech is also known as an allogia. Logia means speech. Allogia means poverty of speech. And obviously, you don't take care of yourself because you don't care about anything. So you have a poor 
self care. Again, what are the features of chronic schizophrenia? Those features are known as a negative symptom. The feature starts with a blunted effect. Your face is a mask like face, it doesn't show any emotions. You don't feel anything really, that is apathy, you don't care about anything. You don't have to drive. You don't have the motivation to do anything. Evolution, isolate yourself, don't talk, poverty of speech or allosia, and you don't take care of yourself. Poor self-care. Those are the features of chronic schizophrenia.